Proba V is the fourth satellite in the European Space Agency's Proba series, the V standing for vegetation. Topic: <laughs> Satellite. Proba V is a small satellite, assuring the succession of the vegetation instruments on board the French Spot 4 and Spot 5 Earth observation missions. Proba V was initiated by the Space and Aeronautics Department of the Belgian Science Policy Office. It is built by Kinetic Space NV and operated by ESA and uses a Proba platform. Proba V will support applications such as land use, worldwide vegetation classification, crop monitoring, famine prediction, food security, disaster monitoring and biosphere studies. The mission was originally conceived as a gap filler between the Spot 5 end of life foreseen mid 2014 and the launch of the constellation of the Sentinel 3A and 3B satellites due to delays of the Sentinel program and because some instrument specifications of the Sentinel 3 satellites have meanwhile changed Proba V no longer is a gap filler mission but will assure the continuation of the vegetation program as such the Vegetation, International User Committee IUC, an independent body consisting of vegetation users, that provides user feedback and recommendations to the Vegetation Steering Committee has recommended to foresee a successor mission for Proba V, because the current specifications of the Sentinel-3 satellites no longer allow the continuation of the vegetation products in the long run. This mission is the first full application mission with a Proba platform and had a very tight development schedule. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development and Operations. Proba V and its onboard instruments have been developed and built by Kinetic Space NV and subcontractors for the Directorate of Technology of ESA. These developments have been paid with Belgian and Luxembourg contributions to ESA. The In Orbit Commissioning Review (IOCR) was successfully achieved on the 27th of November 2013. After the launch and the commissioning, Proba V was handed over from DTEC to the Earth Observation Directorate of ESA on 12 December 2013. After this handover the Earth Observation Directorate of ESA will manage the satellite operations, instrument data collection and distribution of the traditional vegetation products to the users. Vito will actually generate and distribute these products. The management of the new, higher resolution products will be assured by the Space and Aeronautics Department of the Belgian Science Policy Office. For these products too, Vito will actually generate and distribute these higher resolution products. Onboard instruments The primary payload of Proba V is the vegetation instrument, built by OIP sensor systems. This is a reduced mass version of the vegetation instrument which was on board the Spot 4 and 5 satellites to provide a daily overview of global vegetation growth. Traditional vegetation products generated by these instruments include the 1-day synthesis products and the 10-day synthesis products, both with a ground resolution of about 1 km, 1 km by 1 km pixel size. 
Despite the fact that the vegetation instrument on board Proba V has a higher spatial resolution smaller ground pixels than the vegetation instruments on board the spot satellites, the long time series 15 years of the traditional vegetation products will be continued by Proba V. Thus, Proba V will also generate the traditional vegetation products at approximately 1 km by 1 km ground resolution. The spectral bands see electromagnetic spectrum are nearly identical to the spectral bands of the spot vegetation instruments. Other characteristics of the Proba V vegetation instrument are for more detailed specifications and the resulting products that are available to the users, see the other, secondary, onboard instruments are These secondary instruments are technology demonstrators Launch <laughs> 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 Proba V was launched from LA-1 at Guiana Space Center on board Vega Flight VV-02, on 7 May 2013 together with the Vietnamese VN Redsat 1A satellite, and Estonia's first satellite, ESTCUBE-1. The launch will mark the first test of the new Vespa dual payload adapter. Proba V will ride in the upper position of the Vespa adapter, and VN Redsat 1A will sit in the lower position. The usable lifetime of Proba V highly depends on the local time of the descending node LTDN. Given that Proba V has no onboard propulsion, the natural drift of this LTDN depends on the satellite's in orbit injection accuracy. Based on the injection accuracy specifications of the Vega launcher, a usable lifetime between 2.5 and 5 years was predicted. The achieved in orbit injection accuracy is such that the LTDN will be out of the specifications after 5 years. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Data policy. The data policy for the traditional vegetation products, as provided by the spot vegetation instruments, was not freely accessible for all users, meaning that for some products, the user had to pay a fee. Only the products older than three months were for free for everybody and were delivered on a best effort basis. The data policy of the traditional vegetation products, as provided by Proba V, will be freely accessible for all users. This, so-called full, free and open data policy, was approved by the Program Board for Earth Observation PBEO of ESA on 25 September 2013. The new, higher resolution products of Proba V that are older than one month, have the same full, free and open data policy. Depending on the kind of user, scientific, commercial, and the kind of higher resolution product, customized or not, guaranteed in time delivery or not, a fee has to be paid for certain other, higher resolution products of Proba V. The complete data policy details can be found on the Proba V data policy. See also List of European Space Agency programs and missions Proba Proba 2 Proba 3